Now that we talked about students, um, when they are early in their career, what would you advise them to do? How to get into computational fluid dynamics, but also how to stay up to date with a CFD and how they can become better CFD engineers? What would you advise them to do? Yeah, I always advise to to not to neglect either uh, neither the uh, CFD methodology nor the fluid dynamics theoretical. So you pay attention to both and follow the developments because if you stick to something that you learned at, at university or somewhere and never never look out of the box, then you'll be constrained to um, and and you won't be able to use all the possibilities that exist there. I can also mention an example while I was at Imperial College doing PhD, uh, it was uh, said that uh, central differences should not be used because they produce oscillations, you know, so we were all trying to do quick and linear upwind and so on. And I never tried it because, you know, I believe that that's what was said. But then when I came back to Germany and started working there, so let me try. And then I realized, actually, uh, if if you pay attention to how you design the grid, you get the best results with central difference. So I keep sticking to central differencing with maybe a little bit of bounding uh, for the rest of my life because that's really... A uh, good approach. So you can't uh, blindly believe what you read in some um, newsletters, but you should still uh, follow the development because very often by seeing what other people are doing, you you get the you get new idea. 